in this uh, session right i want to give you uh, how to use uh, you know uh, data bricks with the uh, I mean by spark okay uh, installation part is pretty easy hope you understood very uh, only one or two steps that we follow then we are ready to go now uh, let us say uh, you no need to create any you know spark session over here i think uh, it's already in built because i didn't created any spark uh, session like uh, how we create here see let me show you yeah uh, let us say this is a, a note, notebook i created a spark session explicitly but in this case we uh, i have haven't created anything so uh, this is the sample data i took it from internet because uh, it's not i mean uh, we have to focus on uh, uh, tactics uh, more uh, instead of uh, you know data preparation of data because we have to use to save some time we have to use some data available in the internet so i have used it so this is the data and uh, for this data i just uh, taking column names name gender salary and uh, you know creating a data frame out of it you know i have showed you in a different method uh, when we are uh, creating a data frame by using a file uh, like uh, in last week i think we have created data frame right by using uh, in last session it seems uh, csv file we have used and created a data frame by using spark.read.csv method now here uh, is a you know uh, we are uh, just giving the data externally so we using create data uh, create data frame method here uh, data is equal to data data is equal to data means this is the data and i'm giving explicitly column names this is the column name schema is called column names so once we execute this uh, and then uh, i ran this one i ran this one okay if i ran this then whatever the data which is available here and then uh, we are able to see the uh, output guys any questions uh, uh, till this do you have any questions is it clear yes it's clear yes it's clear yes, yeah fine so uh, see this is uh, easy uh, there is no uh, big deal in this but still uh, want to uh, explain one uh, inbuilt function uh, this week that is the reason uh, i have created this data frame and uh, see, i want to use this uh, when inbuilt function uh, then uh, show you what we can do by using when you people have already knowledge uh, you know on uh, in regular uh, big data domain like in high or scale we might use switch statements or case statement right uh, here we will use when when uh, in in, in spark then uh, then you know do our transformations as we like so here we have only three columns one is name and gender and salary and uh, if you see by seeing uh, in gender it is m m null f so uh, if we want to bring more meaningful then i am just making this wherever m is there then making either male whereas f is there making either female whereas null is there then giving as a blank value and wherever the, there is a blank value let us say in this case and just give me nda okay something like that it's not mandatory exactly what i'm taking but just for understanding purpose i'm taking an example okay and uh, you know there is a uh, prebuilt function uh, with column uh, will use to create a new column in spark so i am using with column uh, df is our uh, original data frame and uh, i'm going to create another data frame df2 by using uh, this column i'm making I'm, i want to add one more column uh, to these three columns right this is the syntax uh, the column name that you have to give either it's the existing one see uh, we can use uh, you know um, this function on existing column we can update the data already in existing column either or we can also create a new column and give our own uh, text over here so in this case i'm just going to create one new column called new underscore gender by using uh, this gender existing column okay so this is the syntax to use uh, when function in spark uh, when df1 dot gender 
df1 this is a df1 dot gender this is a gender is equal to m then i'm you know placing as a male same like uh, we have to use that notation here again uh, if it is female f then i'm making as a female then if it is a null this value is null i'm just taking it as a in uh, uh, you know blank and otherwise what uh, if other than this uh, three values i'm just making it as a n not a or something like that okay or you can you can take it as a transgender okay now if we execute this one right uh, we will see uh, this output right see wherever uh, we have m we replaced with male uh, null value we are replaced with the uh, uh, you know, blank if a uh, female means female if it's female and if there is no data then we are just putting that in so this is how uh, you know uh, this is how we have to create uh, we have to create another data frame uh, you know with new column by using bin function okay guys i request you to don't write anything here and uh, uh, is this clear guys is this clear how to use when function and uh, say, uh, you know derive a new data with a new uh, new column with a new data hope this is clear right it is very simple yes naresh yes so uh, this is very important because real time we will use because okay because uh, i generally pick the topics uh, where we use real time okay so don't ignore it please uh, practice it this is a one of the use case uh, you know is the only part of the use case okay i cannot say complete use case but it is a part of the use case when so and uh, you know the same uh, same uh, output we can achieve by using another method also so the method is uh, expression there is a another function we can use expression function and uh, uh, get the same similar output but uh, thing is very uh, you know very uh, very you know minor uh, uh, you know syntax changes see here uh, up to here it is common right then uh, we have to use expression expr then start uh, uh, bracket then write your case statement case when gender is equal to a m then male so this is i think this is a standard one which we generally use in a sql syntax the similar the similar thing we have to use here but uh, it will consider this as a string again and then uh, if this will execute then the other won't be executed uh, if this fails then again it will go to here uh, then uh, it will give you uh, uh, you know uh, it will execute this female then vendor uh, if gender is uh, null then it will give you this result okay and uh, else else any else any okay this is the one of the syntax you can use either one uh, because uh, the performance is quite same so you can use uh, whichever is more uh, suitable or more or more uh, you know uh, in, if you are, if you are interested in ex using expression you can go ahead, go ahead with this if you are interested to use when then you can go ahead with this okay but uh, result if you see result are same nothing has been changed right the similar to df2 output df3 similar to df3 guys is it clear uh, this df3 and the expression clear no yeah okay in real case scenarios also if you want to apply any transformation on particular column we have to create a new data frame and a plan right? absolutely absolutely and uh, see similar way this is a third case like third option like how we can let us say you are not comfortable with this then we can also uh, you know uh, store as a temp table or view these are one of the syntax create or replace temp view and you can give any one name here then our data will be stored in this uh, temp uh, temp table then as usual you can write your sql queries you can write your sql queries okay but you have to use spark dot sql then uh, this is pretty much you know simple and easy 
like uh, if you are a premier pedestrian then uh, you can uh, you can use a similar way uh, inside this but see here i'm using temp emp because the, uh, my result got stored in this here okay and in real time also when you use this one right so uh, this is a temporary okay it won't be permanent okay generally we will use this method only when we want to uh, utilize one time okay so you can also achieve the similar result like see here similar result by using this method as well okay so you can choose either uh, we have three discussed right so out of three you can choose either one and go ahead right any questions in this method in real time uh, like if we have a table with bigger size so mm -hmm. can we create a tab view on that bigger tables or is it uh, related to size no 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 uh, see uh, indirectly like like we know right the spark uh, stores data in uh, ram so you yes. have to keep that point in your mind and uh, use it but ultimately okay. yes uh, you know like you are uh, indirectly you are persisting your data right like no not persisting exactly uh, you know sql statements work only when our data is a uh, loaded in a structured way right yes. without table definitely you can't you won't query your data right yes let us say uh, i is there hdfs is there so in data is there in hdfs but in whatever the data is there in hdfs uh, definitely should not have you know structured right maybe semi structured file csv or text file on that you cannot write any sql queries am i right yes, yes. if you want to write yes. sql queries you have to create a table out of it on top of it yes. right then only you will write a sql queries or sql queries the similar way data is there but uh, how can you uh, write your sql queries Uh, because before that that should be in a table format right yes, uh, yes. the data should be have some structure right here whatever you are seeing is a only showing purpose but physically the data is not stored in a you know uh, in a schema with schema right yeah it's just like an abstraction correct correct so now we are giving some structure for it then on top of it by using this temp table we are writing our queries got it oh, yeah yeah okay. so obviously it will take some ram uh, you know to do so it will consume but people are using people are using we are we have used this way because you know in real time clusters are huge right might be this data is very less mbs at gbs is nothing for them and and this is a temporary right it will it will close whenever you are application uh, you know stop or your if your job is completed then definitely it will close i hope this is clear right yes yes sir so every week i'm going to explain one topic on spark then uh, i will try to uh, you know uh, start uh, after spark right i want to uh, start snowflake as well because snowflake in every session i'm telling you snowflake is a very 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 important tool current current days so i recommend everybody please learn snowflake but simultaneously i want to explain two topics if time permits for 15 minutes for spark or half an hour i want to take half an hour time to explain uh, each topic so like that if you are uh, if you are also interested please take your uh, take one subject you can take sql also i never mind because sql is a very very important subject so what are the topics you know better you explain it okay uh anything else i think we have very few minutes left uh, i'm not uh, taking any other session I'm not feeling well actually uh, yeah narish just one doubt yeah yeah so generally in your day to day job like how do you structure your projects and uh, yeah. moving you to different environments may i know he is uh, talking shrikant shrikant okay good question shrikant that is a little uh, you know uh, it will take little time to explain it yeah definitely okay. uh, next session right please remind me uh, i will explain 5 to 10 minutes this topic because if i start right i want to rush we want to complete in 2 and 1/2 yeah. minutes i don't want to do that i want to explain in a, you know uh, want to take some time and explain i will explain okay in general in general uh, generally what we will do 
okay i won't explain depth okay because that's not good because i am already working but i will tell you uh, you will get a clear picture what exactly people will do in real time okay and uh, okay. i will explain what we will do and uh, how we will execute when we get a project then uh, starting from the beginning to deployment how we will do that i will explain in one session and that that will make some sense right uh, because many people doesn't know that because nowhere you will read that okay so yeah actually the thing is uh, like i want to uh, learn by mimicking the real time thing this is a very good uh, place uh, uh, you know our my intention is to give some real time uh, knowledge only. okay a uh, theoretical anyway you will get it right my intention is to uh, reach this one to many people so that uh, those people also will get benefit okay uh, next week definitely we will have a little longer session if possible uh, will, i will come up with another topic mm. and very soon as i told you we are going to start uh, uh, other technologies like uh, uh, snowflake and uh, talent anyway spark will run simultaneously thanks guys thanks for joining